Hey guys, it's Kaylee. I'm back with another what sold from last week video sales for this particular week and the next video to follow are probably my slowest sales that I've had in a very, very long time, but I'm still going to share them with you because I still had some things sell that I think you might want to look for. All right, so this was definitely a very, very slow week for us. Uh, but like I said, you know, you're gonna have weeks like that, but it was just pretty, pretty dramatic. Like, where are the sales at? Uh, so lowest week I've had in a while, these sales happened between January 14th through the 20th. And in total, I sold 198 items. Uh, gross item sales was just over $6,000. And my average item sale price was almost $31. So not only selling um, a low amount, but also average sale price, not very high. So it just in general, wasn't a good week. And I just don't think people were shopping. Um, on eBay, I sold 112 items. On Poshmark, I sold 86. Um, just went over 4,800 in gross sales on eBay. And on Poshmark, just under $2,000 with a very, very low average item sale price on Poshmark. So nothing else to say about that. I am pretty disappointed with those numbers. But like I said, these things happen. And we are going to continue doing the same thing, listing the same amount, staying consistent, knowing that sales are going to pick back up. So let's dive into these items. All right. The first one on eBay is this, I think it's pronounced Fall Raven, um, which is a fantastic brand to pick up in clothing. Um, I recently came across a backpack of theirs and was surprised that they weren't performing as well, but their clothing in general, uh, for the most part, has a very good sell through rate and item sale price. So this one was called the Kiruna Padded Parka and very high sell through rate on this. And as you can see, sells for quite a bit. Um, I listed this one for $174. It did sell for my full asking price. This had a ton of interest on both platforms I had it listed on. Took about a month to sell for full asking price. This one did have um, a little bit of staining on the cuffs as well. If it were in perfect condition, I probably would have listed it a little higher. Uh, but in general, really great brand to look for. And this would be something I would pick up even in spring and summer, just because I know um, it has such a high average sale price. All right, next up is a vintage item. This is a vintage kind of military item. Um, this is called Midshipman's. So if you guys see this, and really if you see any kind of vintage kind of cool military item, I would definitely look it up specifically with the, um, brand if you have it and then you know all the information you have so this one was from the 70s and it had this really cool uh i guess it would be called like an applique or it was sewn on um goat on the back which i think really helped to sell the item all these patches are adding a lot of value we listed this for 150 dollars or best offer and someone accepted an offer of 127 dollars 50 cents which was an offer to watcher that we sent out um, and this one sold within two months of being listed which is honestly really great uh, for an item that is vintage. I mean, vintage doesn't usually sell that quickly. So I was happy with that. Next up, this is kind of a niche thing that we pick up pretty often. They are vintage Victoria's Secret silk uh, maxi or midi length dresses or slips. And they always perform really well, specifically around Valentine's Day. Um, if you can find one with some different like unique prints and stuff, they go for even more. Um, we try to use the the keyword Y2K as well. So this is a really gorgeous uh, blue maxi silk vintage Victoria's Secret dress. Um, listed this for $75. I tend to price them a little bit higher than everybody else um, because I'm usually able to get that much for them. This one did sell for my full asking price, um, although it did take several months to sell, mainly because we listed this in September when uh, the weather was getting colder. All right, next up, this is a great bolo item to be on the lookout for. Um, not the brand in total, which is Polo by Ralph Lauren, but this type of sweater, um, which I always use the keyword tennis sweater, um, which is 
a key indicator are these like contrast striping near the collar or near the neckline. Um, and then this one had some cable knit detail as well, which really helped to add value. Um, and I believe it was vintage. So this one sold uh, pretty quickly as well within about a month and a half. I listed it at $80 uh, because it was a silk blend and it sold on an offer to watcher for $68. Next up, this is a women's denim brand that I do love selling, a very few that still sell really well, <clears throat> and it is Mother Jeans. I would pick up just about anything in this brand. These are called the Easy Does It Shorts, and they just had some striping, a little bit of uh, anchor embroidery on the back. Listed these for 60. They did sell for my full asking price, um, and they did take a couple of months to sell, so not a lot of things you can sell in the women's denim department, especially shorts that are going to perform well, but this is definitely a brand that can. And I think maybe not always, but a lot of the times they have this M embroidery on the back, which is a good indicator of mother jeans. All right, next up is a brand I pick up in just about anything. It is Reformation. Very trending brand right now with a really great sell-through rate. I don't think I've ever picked up anything Reformation that hasn't sold super quickly. Specifically, their like summer dresses perform the best. This one is just a pretty plain white sweater dress, but it was a size large. Listed it for $60. It did sell for full asking price. And this one only took a couple of months to sell. All right, we talked about this in the last What Sold video as well, which are knit shorts that have either merino wool or cashmere in them. These are a pair of Kints or Quince uh, women's 100% cashmere joggers. Lots of value there. Kind of had to make up a price on these. I listed these for $70. I'm telling you, any brand with cashmere in it, knit pants, all day long is going to sell really well. Uh, so I listed this for 70. It sold on an offer to watcher for $59. Next up, this is a brand that performs pretty, pretty well for us, although sometimes they have to sit on it. It is Ted Baker. This is Ted Baker London. If you do ever come across this brand, they have their own sizing. So this five equals an XL. Um, this had a really interesting contrast back panel. So this is the front of the item, which you can see is pretty plain. And then the back had this kind of satiny, um, I guess I would call it like a bug kind of jungle look to it. This reminded me a lot of the Gucci emblems that are on some of their bags that are really popular right now. So because I knew that this was probably going to sell the item, we chose to use it as our cover photo. Um, and because it was Gucci inspired, we also included the word B to try and make sure it drew the right people over. Um, and this sold so quickly. It sold the same day we listed it for full asking price of $50. So if you have any part of an item that you know is specifically going to sell it, make sure that it is in your cover photo. All right, next up is a jersey. I do like picking up jerseys every now and then. Um, I always heavily research it, the brand, the size, the team, if it's vintage, all of that. This is a vintage uh, CCM Devils jersey, and we listed this for $45. It did sell for our full asking price, and anytime I see a jersey that feels somewhat high quality, I just go ahead and look it up, and more often than not, um, I do end up picking it up. All right, this is a brand that performs extremely well uh, in spring and summer. It is Lily Pulitzer. If I see any Lily Pulitzer, I'm looking it up. Uh, one great thing about them is they do have the style number on the inside tag, which makes it really easy to look up the style name. This one was called the Elsa, Elsa Silk Top. I have sold this a couple of times. Um, I actually found this at the bins, so because it was silk, it was super lightweight. Um, probably paid like a dollar or less. I listed this um, in November, on November 1st actually, so it did take a couple of months to sell, um, which is to be expected because we are now seeing buyers purchase warmer weather items like silk. So absolute bolo, loved selling Lily Pulitzer really all year round, but spring and summer is the time that it sells for so much more money and so much more quickly. I listed this for $45 and it sold for full asking price. 
right, this is a newer brand to me. It is Ocean and Main. Um, I came into a couple of these dresses through wholesale. This is a silk midi dress in a size 3X. Really great comps on these. Um, they're kind of an oversized like resort beachy item. But again, they had really great comps. Um, I listed this for $50. It sold on an offer to watcher for $42. This again took several months to sell, but it's because I listed a summer item in the middle of winter. All right, this is a vintage uh, item. This is the brand Carlisle, which in my opinion doesn't really matter. Uh, but this is just a very, I call it like an it factor piece where, you know, it just has something so unique and rare to it. It just you get that good gut feeling about it that it's probably going to sell. Uh, so I had that with this item, um, vintage Carlisle velvet top. You can see it's got kind of like a uh, psychedelic trippy print, which are good keywords. Um, we probably could have put that in our title. I think it's probably down below in the description. Uh, but people are looking for stuff like this. Everybody wants the very like out there, wacky, stand out statement pieces, um, especially in vintage. And this is definitely a key piece. So if you see anything like this, um, consider getting it again, make sure you have that good gut feeling about it, that it factor to it. Um, but this is definitely a quality, quality piece and something that's very, very trendy right now. Um, I've also noticed that like bright seventies and eighties print stuff are also performing really well. All right, next up is a brand that is also very trendy right now. It is Skims. Um, I love selling their dresses. Their dresses are very popular and they sell very quickly. This is a Skims maxi tank dress in a size medium. Uh, this only took a little over a week to sell and it sold for full asking price of $40. This is a brand that performs really well for us, although I don't find it very often. It is AMI. Um, they make some pretty like, I don't know, I, I want to say basics, but then they have like small embroideries on it. This is a men's uh, boxy t-shirt. I listed this for 40. It did sell for full asking price and it only took three days to sell. Um, I feel like this is a brand a lot of people pass on if you don't know that they make some pretty basic looking stuff, but all of their stuff is very thin. Thick, so you can tell it's high quality. Here's another Lily Pulitzer item, but that's not why I wanted to show you this item. Um, I am starting to slow down, not starting, I am very much slowing down on winter pieces because people are buying spring stuff now and that just means that my winter sourcing has to come to a halt or else we're going to, you know, buy stuff wait for it to be shipped here or wait for it to be listed. So it's not going to get listed for a couple weeks. And by the time that rolls around, we're scheduling out. So if I buy anything now, it's not usually getting listed for about a month, um, which means a month from now, are people still going to be buying winter items? No, because they're already buying spring items. So it's just a little too risky. Um, but vests I've noticed are still selling very well. And I feel like vests are a really great transitional pieces uh, for spring. People can, you know, not have a heavy jacket, but still have a layer of warmth if they want it. So I feel like a vest is a great option. This is a Lily Pulitzer puffer vest. I listed it for $45. It sold for $38. Um, and this took a couple of months to sell. I've got some other examples of vests as we go through because I've just been selling a lot of them. So again, I think it's a great spring item. Here's another vest. This is a Patagonia men's better sweater fleece vest. Not going to say much about this. I think we all know that these perform well. Just again, showing you some vests that are selling. I listed this for $40. It sold for full asking price. It sold the next day. Here's an example of a bread and butter brand I'm going to be looking for in longer length dresses, meaning midi to maxi length. This is J. Crew. And I found that their longer length dresses or their more substantial dresses perform very well for me. They don't usually sell for a ton, um, but again, they're good bread and butter during spring and summer. This one we picked up because it had kind of the darker grungy plaid, so we were okay listing it in winter. It was also new with tags and a larger size. Listed this for 40 bucks. It sold on an offer to watcher for $34 and it only took three days to sell. 
All right, this is a brand that I am starting to add to my plus size bolo list um, where plus size pieces in this brand tend to perform well. I do think it depends on what it is. I do think you need to factor stack. Uh, this was the Land's End Drifter sweater in a size 3X and it was also new with tags. Um, and all over cable knit detail as well. Listed this for 30 bucks. It sold for full asking price and it only took a couple of weeks to sell. Here's another vest. This is by the brand Cool, which is a great outdoorsy brand to pick up. Hiking outdoor stuff is selling really well because as the weather warms up, people really want to get outside. Uh, so this is a fantastic brand to look for in both men's and women's. I listed this for $40. It sold on an offer to watcher for $34 and it only took two days to sell. So again, vests performing extremely well right now. Here's kind of a 70s, uh, 80s kind of color scheme and print. Um, and this is a brand, Trina Turk, that if you can find those bright multicolors in, perform very well. So this is a pair of shorts. I listed it for $35. It did sell for my full asking price. This is another plus size brand. It's not exclusively plus size, but a brand I like to get exclusively in plus size. It is J Jill. Um, and I also like selling their longer length dresses. This is a midi tank dress in a size 2X and it was also new with tags. Lots of great factor stacking there. I listed this for 40. It sold on an offer to watcher for $34 and it only took two days to sell. Next up, this is a brand that pairs really well with linens, specifically in larger sizes. This one is only a size medium. However, it is a very on-trend piece. They're, they are wide leg pull-on pants. Um, and again, you can see that spring is starting to sell. I listed these for $27. They sold for my full asking price. Um, these ones did take a good while to sell. I listed these towards the end of summer. Next up, this is a brand that performs well in plus sizes. This is Foxcroft. They make very, um, very like office button up tops and things of that nature. Um, but again, I only pick them up in the larger sizes. This one is a 24W. I listed this for $30. It sold on an offer to watcher for $25. Um, it did take several months to sell, but again, listed in fall you know, we're moving into spring now, which I feel like this piece falls under. Here's another good bread and butter that I love getting, mainly because everybody else passes on it uh, for spring and summer. They are Old Navy, larger size, longer length dresses. So all of those things have to be true for them to sell pretty quickly which is that it has to be midi or maxi and it has to be a larger size. This one is a midi uh, wrap dress, cute super on trend kind of cottage core floral with puff sleeves it's wrap it's tiered it's a size xl like all the things are there um it was pre-owned so i listed it for 25 dollars. it sold for my full asking price um and yeah i'm going to continue picking up stuff like this um, especially now that we are in warmer weather it's just really good padding for my store and i can find it pretty often Another vest, this is the brand Duluth and Duluth Trading Company in general in plus sizes sells very well for me. Um, this is a longer length tunic vest. I listed it for 30. It sold on an offer to watcher for $25. Um, and this one did take several months to sell. Although again, it is a warmer weather item. This is a brand that sells really well during spring and summer for me. It is Sundance. I'm starting to see a lot of linen sales. So that's a factor I really love to stack with brands that otherwise don't perform as well. Um, I wouldn't say that this is an example of that because Sundance can perform really well. Um, but the fact that it's linen, it's a snap button up shirt added a lot of value. Listed this for $35. It sold on an offer to watch her for $30 and it's sold within just a couple of weeks. Um, button up linen shirts sell really well. Like that category in general in the women's department and the men's department performs extremely well. So if you come across those two factors, even if it's not a brand you normally get, I would consider looking it up. Last one on eBay before diving into the few Poshmark sales I have um, is this Patagonia kids jacket. I love picking up kids jackets. They're very uh, 
overlooked at the thrift store. Most people don't go to the kids section. And it's just such a quick thing to kind of glance and see if there are any popular brands in the kids section. Patagonia is definitely one of them. Um, I listed this for $35. There was a stain on it, but I find that parents don't seem to care about that as long as they are minor. And it sold for an offer to watcher of $30 and it sold the very next day. Moving on to Poshmark seals. Here's another example of a category I'm looking for. Um, jumpsuits with like some factor. So this one is a linen blend. It's also wide leg and it's square neck. So all of those things really help to add value. And it was a size 12. This is by the brand Everlane. It sold for $40. This is Calvin Klein. Um, I brought this sale up to you just because Calvin Klein plus sizes have been performing very well for me, especially in the dress category. This is just a little career dress. It was missing its original belt, but no big deal. Somebody can wear it without it or put their own belt with it. And this one ended up selling for $34 on Poshmark. Next up is a newer brand to me. It is a men's brand called Norse projects and this seems to have a pretty good sell through rate so I thought I would bring it up to you guys if you come across it this is a men's it was called the Almar flannel shirt in a size XL this sold on an offer for $39 next up is a bra brand that has been performing really well for me and has a great sell through rate in their shapewear and their bras it is honey love this is a 3x so plus size bra it sold for $25 and I believe this sold the same week we got it listed next up is the brand outlier this is kind of an outdoorsy ish brand um, kind of workwear and this is a pair of chino canvas pants this brand has an incredible sell through rate um, in the men's department. So I would definitely keep your eye out for it. I haven't found anything that hasn't sold super well, um, but the brand label is kind of hidden on the inside. So you got to do some digging to figure it out, but great brand. These pants sold for $51. Next up is a designer brand that sells pretty well. I do find that this brand sits longer than I'd like it to. However, it usually sells for quite a bit of money. So I do enjoy picking it up. Um, these were a very on-trend pair of pants. They're kind of that neutral color. They are wide leg and they're a size 12. So all good factors there. They sold for $52. Here's a winter item I would still pick up even in the dead of summer just because there were so many great factors. It is a Pendleton wool plus size item and it was also merino wool, so super soft coat. Um, I think I originally listed this for like, I don't know, I wanna say around 70 and it sold on an offer to watcher for $59. Here's a shoe brand that performs pretty well for me. I wanted to bring up this sale because uh, shoes like this, sandals and stuff, you know, they're going to start selling for the warmer weather, but I personally don't have very much luck with selling sandals only in specific brands. And I find that most of those brands that perform well are comfort shoes. And I would consider this brand part of that. So I thought I would share this with you. This is the brand Picolinos. This brand retails for quite a bit. Um, I think it really depends on the item you have as far as sell through rate goes, but it always sells for quite a bit for me. Really high quality leather, again, tend to be more of a comfort brand. These ones I listed for 40 bucks. I think I got these at the bins. They had some wear throughout. They ended up selling for $32. If they were in better shape, probably could have sold them for much more. And last item, this is the brand Jerf Avenue. I don't know how to pronounce that. D-J-E-R-F Avenue. Um, this brand per seemed to be performing pretty well on Poshmark specifically. Um, I couldn't find a lot on it, but the ones that were selling were selling for quite a bit. Um, so I'm trying to stay with the season. Actually, I'm trying to stay ahead of the season. Um, so we've been listing anything Valentine's Day related or date night related. Um, this would be one of those pieces for me. The, you know, the satiny long length gowns or dresses um, and this sold very quickly surprisingly for $85 so I thought that was a great sale and I thought it was a brand worth mentioning
All right, guys, so that's it for what's the last week. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching. If you are not already and you would like to be, don't forget to subscribe down below and hit that notification bell. That way you'll be notified every single time I post these videos. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.